going on everyone? So today we're going to be talking about my top five favorite lures I'm going to use in early season fishing and last week of April through May to yeah really that last week of May. So in May you're fishing smaller bait. Um, one of the biggest thing that's around is this rain bait. I'm not sure if that's the real name for it or it's just some sort of spawn of maybe herring or mackerel or something like that. Not too sure. But rain bait can make a really hard bite because they're and they're genuinely the size of your finger fingernail or sometimes smaller. Um, so when you have to fish that, you have to fish very, very small lures. So first thing I'm gonna say, probably my go-to lure from last week of April till the end of May. Al gags, uh, whippet fish, or just the regular standard one. So the one I'm holding now is a half ounce. Um, you know, this might be three quarters. Uh, no, this is half ounce. So the reason I like these so much is because when you're fishing bait that's the size of your finger, or half the size like this, it's these can do a really good job of looking like a small bait fish that's just swimming along. And they have, I mean, they're super stretchy. Um, they have the sharpest hooks and probably all the jig heads you're gonna get. Um, and they have a really nice weight to them and I feel they swim very nicely and they stay this kind of, sometimes when you're fishing a swim bait and it's too heavy, it's gonna lean like this and it's gonna, you don't want it to, I mean, you can, I like to, a lot of the time when I'm fishing a heavier one, like a one ounce, bring it up and kind of drop it down to them. But usually when I'm fishing them is somewhat lighter through pretty fast water and they're staying around like this high in the water column, a little more than the middle. And that works really well for bass. Um, I mean, I have them down to, I can grab it down to like the, this is half ounce. Um, tons of stuff. So that was the standard. Here's the whippet fish. A little different, same weight, I think. The only difference is these have a weight in the body that you can see. These don't. It's just the jig head. Uh, these you can literally throw anywhere there's fish, and I feel like you can almost anywhere get a bite. They're just such an awesome lure. Um, and then I think this would be three quarters. Three quarters is when I'm throwing off the rocks usually um, with a lighter rod. And this is when the bass are first showing up on the rocks and they're just kind of cruising down. So yeah, number one, Allagags. So my number two is gonna be a bucktail. This is just the standard sort of S and S bucktail. Um, I do put jig strips on them. I don't know where they are now. Um, just came back from Florida, so I'm kind of still taking everything out. It's a mess in here. Um, but these work really well too, even without the jig strips, because when they're wet, this will all sort of shrink up and they can look like squid, which are starting to come back in those early months. And they also will look a lot like um, any sort of small bait that's really from this big. And they do a good job of that because and a lot of current, you can work them slowly, make them dance, and fish will just kind of, from their hiding place, they'll just poke out and grab at it. I really like that. Um, if I had to do number three. Oh, this is easy. An easy number three, rebel jumping, you know? These things are stupid. Actually, this is gonna be my number two. Um, a rebel jumping minnow, in my opinion, is the best spook on the market. Um, they have the best walking action. They have the best walking action. They have this perfect rattle. They're lighter, but, I mean, they're a freshwater lure, so they just can catch so many fish of any size. Last year, I got one bass that was, like, 32 inches on one of these, which is 
a nice size for a lure that's the size a little bit bigger than my finger. So they do a really good job. They're my favorite spook and I fish these. Usually that last week of April, I'm fishing them less. Uh, I like to fish a little slower and smaller, more finesse. But then when I know those fish are around and I know where they're gonna be, I'm usually gonna end up throwing this in there once in a while. So number four, I really like these sluggo. Um, they're just these like little eel sort of shaped things and they dance in the water really nice. Um, I mean, you can just see from, if I just flick my finger like that, imagine that what that does in the water. It's nice. Um, these do an amazing job at catching fish when they're in shallow water or you just want to get some surface eats, but they're not committing all the way to a jumping minnow. You can fish this slower and just bounce that tail slightly and it is go crazy for it. I've had some really cool bites and they hit these things so hard too. It's such a fun lure to watch. Um, and you can fish these on a really light rod too. You can fish them no weight or just with like a 3 8 ounce weight on them. They work really well. So last, let me grab my last. So it's kind of a hard decision, but I feel like you just can never go wrong with one of these. So this is a tsunami one. Um, they're just kind of your standard spoon with that little tubing going off the back with the J hook. Um, when I'm fishing a beach, I know there's sand eels running. You can cast this thing a mile and then just slowly reel it through and it'll just kind of shake this tube like that and it'll flutter through the water and it shines. I mean, it's an old, but it's super, it's an old, easy to use, generic lure. And it works super well when you're targeting these fish. So here we are, I'll show you guys. 